So I have a, a specific focus uh, on how to reduce uh, X-ray exposure and uh, contrast media volume in, in my daily practice because I've been doing uh, complex endovascular procedures for now more than 15 years and I have a real concern regarding this uh, exposure to radiation. So the way we've dealt with that is to use advanced imaging technologies such as fusion imaging. And uh, so we use fusion, we avoid magnification, we do a lot of collimation. And on top of that, because of we use fusion, uh, it has reduced significantly uh, the volume of contrast we need to inject to perform those cases. So the answer is really yes. And I think any tool that can help us to reduce even more radiation and even more uh, contrast um, uh, volume uh, should be considered. I think that the real interest in the blood flow sensor will probably be uh, for those undergoing the learning curve using fenestrated and branch endograft, those complex endograft. There's a real concern when you start doing those procedures uh, that uh, technical success might be uh, an issue. So using uh, this uh, cerebral sheath with the sensor will actually help you nicely position the endograft, making sure the fenestrations are nicely positioned, and then have a stable platform to access uh, the target vessel. So I think there's going to be a huge benefit um, of this uh, cerebral sheath and the sensor combined together uh, to perform those complex uh, cases. One of the issues we have when performing those complex cases is that uh, it can sometimes be very time consuming and then you have sheaths and catheter uh, against the aortic wall. And most of those patients have diseased aortic wall and some of them we have what they call shaggy aorta. And if there's a conflict between the sheath, the catheter and the wire and uh, this shaggy aortic wall, you can have cholesterol emboli going um, to the visceral vessels, to the lower limbs, and this can be a catastrophe. So I think if we can stay in the aortic lumen and, and have this cerebral sheath with the sensor telling us in which direction we can directly go to the target vessel, then obviously this will be a huge benefit to our patients.